I'm Mark Plummer. I'm the Senior Construction Manager on for Lend Lease on the Sunshine Coast Public University Hospital. This project is a $1.8 billion project for the Queensland Government. Sustaining the culture of safety on a project is very important and it's a challenge. So from our side of things, the first thing we do is you must believe in what you're doing. You have to believe that what you're doing is the right thing. In achieving the first million hours without a lost time injury, the management's component is only one part in the whole process. Our part is very much about setting the direction and the expectations that the team have to achieve. It's about making sure the message is very concise and simple in its delivery so people understand and can follow that direction. Maintaining the energy and safety is always a challenge on a project. You need to be at all stages holding each other accountable. So at one stage when one person drops the ball, there's another person in the background backing you up. We know where our expectations are, we know where our goals are, so as a team we can keep that momentum going on safety. We have a very simple message about factory clean. We want it to look like a factory floor. So from the moment people walk on the project, they see that the project is well set up and well laid out, and we carry that expectation through to our subcontractors about that's how we want them to perform. So there's a fair bit of expectation management from the moment they walk on to the moment they start work on the project. Our final part of communicating with our subcontractors and keeping them engaged is making sure that we listen to what they're saying. They know their work very well, better than we do. So it's about listening to them and making sure their concerns and comments are incorporated and addressed. The challenge with safety is always to make sure that people feel comfortable of saying, hey, I don't feel safe or I see there's a concern. And you need to encourage your workforce to be confident that they can stick their hand up and say, I see a risk. You've got to treat every comment and every concern raised as valid and address it with the respect that it deserves. As you walk around the job, you see the pride in some of the guys from what they're doing. And that gives me a real buzz. I care about the guys on site. I really want to be able to go home each night and feel comfortable that we've done everything in our power to make sure that they have gone home safely.